Hey everybody, Jittery J here. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Today we're checking out the Catherine Tate show again. This is Der uh, her character Derek and the Christmas pantomime scene. The full scene. Um, there were two different ones, but the other one was like a minute shorter. So I grabbed this one. Anyway, before we that's an here over there. Before we get started, as always, we're gonna hit the like and subscribe on the original video. That is the important part of what we do. To show support wherever we go. To that effect, the original video will be linked in the description below, so you can go check that out. Um, yeah, let's jump into this and see. I liked the 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 Derek compilation that I just did, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this too. Um, nah, I, I've liked all of her characters. I've seen her play so far. She is an exceptional character actor, uh, and or is or was I can't remember if she's already passed. If she has, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into this. Now you see what it is, Gavin. It's step, kick, step, kick. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so sorry I'm late. Can you settle down? I'm afraid we've no time for a warm-up tonight. We're going to crack straight on. Based on your improvisations last week, I've cast the Christmas pantomime in the following manner. Oh. Julie Wishall, Cinderella. Gavin Nelson, Prince Charming. Yes! <laughs> Leonard Mincing, Baron Harder. <laughs> Jeff and Wallace, the ugly sisters. Pat and Roz, the comedy policemen. <laughs> and finally, Judy Warrington will be prompt corner again. Sorry, Judy. <laughs> and everybody else will be magical animals in the musical forest. Can you see that everybody gets a script? <laughs> Excuse me, Ursula. Yes, Derek. I think there seems to be some sort of mistake, dear. Being a senior member of the Gillies All Players, I think you'll find I usually take quite a large part, <laughs> if you follow my meaning. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Derek. I missed you out. Yes, of course, mm. you have a main character. Yeah. I used to hate people like that. They were just, thought they were above everyone else, you know what I mean? It, 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 I know it's just a character she's playing, but it is. I used to... I used to know people who acted like that, and I I used to I used to get on my nerves so bad, it was funny, or it wasn't funny, rather, uh, but yeah, just that that condescending tone right there, that she used. Oh, I'm sorry, Derek. I missed you out. Yes, of course you have a main character. Yes, here you are. You're playing the Christmas fairy. <laughs> <laughs> I beg pardon. You're the Christmas fairy. What on earth are you insinuating? <laughs> I'm not insinuating anything. Oh, my goodness. You don't for a second think this has anything to do with you being gay, do you? You've been given the part purely on your brilliant improvisation last week. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I said you were given the part purely based on your improvisation. Yes, I heard that bit. And it has nothing to do with you being gay. How? Very day. <laughs> I've never been so insulted. You mean you're not gay? Oh dear me, dear gay, dear no dear. <laughs> Just because a man shapes his eyebrows and likes a bit of Shirley Bassey, you accuse him of parking his bike up the dirt track. <laughs> How? The euphemism she comes day. up with. I'm sorry, Derek, I don't know what to say. I thought. The euphemism she comes up with are very descriptive. It, it, it's <laughs> it, it's it's fun to watch. Uh, I tell you what, it, it's, and just her facial expressions too. It, it's she's got that tone down perfect. Dirt track. <laughs> How very dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Derek. I don't know what to say. I thought you were gay, Derek. Yeah, I always thought you were gay. <laughs> and to think 
I've bent over backwards for you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> she thought you were gay. You say you're not. What's the problem? Who invited you to the party, dear? <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't see why you should be so offended just because someone thinks you're gay. No, well, it's not your name and reputation being besmirched all over the place, is it, dear? Well, I'm very proud to be a gay man. Who oh, dear? You dear? Gay dear? Yes, dear, I can well believe it. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? Look, dear. You may choose to spend your time waving your ding dong to other men in public toilets, but we don't need it shoved down our throats. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. As director of this group, I. Director, don't make me laugh. <laughs> direct piss into a bucket, dear. <laughs> no, I've had enough. <laughs> Always thought I was gay. <laughs> and if you think he's playing Bernard on, you've got another thing coming. Come on, Leonard, we're off. <laughs> Ali! Hello, Mark. Fabulous party. Mm. Well, the party's only as good as its guests. <laughs> Have you met Simon? No, hello, I'm Ali. Hello, I'm Simon Green. I'm managing director of Hobson's. Oh. Uh, that must have been another scene that they forgot to cut the rest of it out. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this was this was like I said, her facial expressions are on point, you know. Uh, she's got that condescending tone down pat. It, it, man, it's fun to watch. It, it's it's kind of like the Nan character with when they did the uh, anger management. It's it's fun to watch and because it's it's comedy you don't see nowadays you know everything is so politically correct and toned down for all the sensitive people out there it, it's become quite literally a joke but anyway i would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this in the comments let me know what else i need to look for and i will get there as soon as i can um that's just about going to wrap up this video i hope you guys had <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me as much as I enjoy watching it with you. And I hope to see you on the next video. I love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here. Jerry J.